Hi Aries Starseeds, I hope you're well. So I'm doing, um, we have this shooting up energy of the Schumann Resonance, but we had a blackout for all day Friday. Um, there was no energy, there was no reading, and I always feel like we have a blackout when it's so high that it goes off the chart and it even throws the system offline. Now we had this, um, this blackout all day Friday and um, there was really like no explanation for it and then we have this shooting up energy today of magnetic energy or it could be a plasma um, it could be a solar storm it could be a plasma wave it could be many things um, and then we have like a miniature blackout happening again right here. The system could be like not um, working correctly. There could be a lot of things happening here. Um, don't know. So a lot of you guys were asking me what is happening with the Schumann yesterday. And um, it shows here it's at a 10, but it does sort of show that there's this blackout period that happened. Um, let's see what the message is from Pleiades 1, if it's going to come in. Their website might not be working so well, and then um, what do we have? Uh, harmonic transition, crystalline rebirth. Um, similar attract to other harmonious energies, quantum healing, sacred fire, um, money. Um, there's the strengthen of the grid, the um, the energy grid. What has to do with uh, the sh the uh, magnetic ley lines around the earth? Um, divine oracle. Um, so I don't know about any of you, active centrals are called. So there's a calling, you know, there's the judgment card's been coming up a lot. Um, so what I feel like it is, I don't know if any of you get uh, sleep paralysis where you can't wake up. Like you're laying there and it feels like a coma. Like you can't, literally you can't wake up and you can't get up and your eyes uh, won't open either um, but you are mentally awake like it's the weirdest thing because you're awake and you're laying there and you're like I can't move and I can't get up but during this time of sleep paralysis you get a lot of information or ideas that come into your mind and it's like you have things clarify or you get ideas about how to move forward on things or inspiration whatever you get like a lot of ideas um, so, you know, it could be many, many things. Um, it comes to you during this time. I had, a, a sleep paralysis a lot, like almost every other day or every few days. And I went, you know, I went to the doctor, had everything checked. I'm a hundred percent healthy. There's no reason, um, I do get a lot of psychic energy at that time though, so I'm grateful for whatever it is, but um, so, you know, we're coming up on Lionsgate, it's a major portal of energy because we literally have two suns. We have our sun and we have the Sirius A dog star sun coming up in Orion. Um, so we have two suns, which is really cool. So let's see what we have here for the Aries star seeds. What are we getting here? Aries star seeds. Aries. Trust the niggle. So this is like when you're pushed to do something, you have an idea. What is that little feeling where you need to do something? Um, it's like inspiration, an idea. So we have ancient Lemuria, 
creating heaven on earth. It's it's happening. It's better energy. Lemurian energy would be better than, you know, negative energy. It's all positive. It's all good, beautiful, focusing on beauty. Um, so I got this card of yes, just say yes. And this is like um, a pyramid connecting in with some kind of spiritual energy. And I have this card of the great gathering. It's all coming together, finding your soul tribe, having intuitive hits or downloads. Um, intuition, inspiration, messages, ideas. Finding your soul tribe. Okay. Let's get one more card here for the star seeds. What do we have coming in for the Aries star seeds? It doesn't matter if um, you feel like you have Orion in your chart, which would be Scorpio um, or Sagittarius, Capricorn. If you have Orion in your chart, Leo, you're fine. Um, you just feel like you always have to survive. And you're fighting to survive. So I have here blossoming abundance. Something here coming in about things are starting to flourish. It came out with rest and rejuvenation. Needing to rest. Find your center. So if you have a Ryan in your chart, oh wow, the doorway to personal healing and happiness. Um, a door is opening. So you may feel constantly like you have to survive. That is just the Orion energy of survival. Uh, so if you have Pleiades en energy, uh, it would be Aries, Pisces, Gemini. Taurus, 26 or say 20 degrees or higher in your chart, then you have strong, 26 degrees or higher is really Pleiadian if it's in one of these signs, Aries, Pisces, or Taurus. Um, these star systems, the Taurus star system is actually where the Pleiades is. Um, it's a star cluster and they call it the Seven Sisters but it's seven stars, um, could be planets. It's so far away, they don't know. Um, it could be planetary energy that's seen. So, so if you're Pleiadian, you really um, are like things to be pleasant and happy all the time. If you are Orion, you, um, if you have strong Orion in your chart, you live in an underlying fear of everything's going to fall apart. And so if you feel like you have this fear, you could be insecure, really. Um, it feels like a, like a battle. You're battling yourself all the time, which is fine. Because a lot of the time, Orions can offer advice to other people. But you're always sort of battling your shadow. So it'll be okay. We have... The Ace of Wands, inspiration, new fire, new excitement. What's going on with the Star Seed Aries? Ooh, we have passion, love, choices, and Ramadan energy. We have, you know, um, rescuing and Ramadan energy. We have strength card, could be Leo. We have gentle, peaceful, strength, the lion, lion tamer energy here. Quiet, confidence. Crossroads. Feeling like you're split down the middle, like you want more for yourself. Okay. We have here the seven of pentacles. Thinking about your investment, thinking about how to move ahead. Um, 
what came out first was the Empress, Abundance, Venus. So what's coming up for the Aries star seeds? Okay, we have a Nine of Wands. We have a Seven of Cups. Some of you guys need to take a break and rest. You're wanting a ten of water, you're wanting a completion, or you're wanting more emotional fulfillment. Again, with this hermit. A recluse, a spiritual prophet, spending time by yourself, pulling away, finding your center. Um, crossing the energy is a choice either in a romantic partnership or something to do with um, choices or options. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Sun card. Happiness, joy, success. Something coming to light. So what is the Nine of Wands for the Aries Star Seeds? Wow, Emperor, you're refusing to quit. You're not quitting. You're not giving up. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? King of Coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Confusion. What is the Hermit? Okay, so you pull away because you're unable to decide or choose. You're mentally conflicted or you could be in denial. There is Magician. Somebody is trying to manipulate or maneuver a situation. They have a lot of ideas. Okay, so we have the Hermit and the Empress. What is the Empress? Venus. Get new information, clarity, truth, new ideas, victories. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Masculine, Fire, Page of Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Messenger of Love. What is the strength? Okay, we have here the Fool, Breaking Free, Liberation. You're on a new journey or a new path. So you could be breaking free from a person if you were recently at a crossroads. Um, you could also be going on a new journey with a person. Um, the sun is, there's a lot of Leo energy here. What is the sun? Okay, the nine of water. A wish comes true, a wish is fulfilled. So don't quit. If you feel like you're almost ready to quit on something, don't quit. Um, there is wish fulfillment here. Um, what is the environment surrounding Aries starseeds like here? Nine of coin. Six of coin. Somebody's generous. They are reaching out. They're being helpful. What is the hermit? This is pulling away by yourself. Five of Wands. Wanting to pull away from conflict. Competition. Okay. There's something here where you feel like a person could be wanting to fight or argue with you. What is the Ace of Swords? Hermit. Could be Virgo. And the Ace of Water. A new potential for love, peace, or healing. Okay, with the Fool. This could be a new journey in love. Ace of Coin on the bottom. What is the Fool? What is the Fool here?
What is the fool? Information. A lot of information coming forward. Magician was on the bottom. There's something about the moon. And the world. Okay. Great success. Something coming through. So what is the sun and the nine of cups? Something comes to light that is wish fulfillment for you. The lovers. Chemistry. Healing. Um, a choice or an offer in a love relationship. Okay, I don't want to take like 10 cards. What is the strength symbolizing? What is the strength symbolizing? Okay. Moving forward on your path. Avoiding or having self-control. Um, not associating with someone here. I don't see any bad energy. I do show some inner term, like inner conflict. Opposing interests, like two people are, or several people are, oppose each other. What is Aries as? Okay, so you have um, very strong ethical moral moral principles with the Hierophant nine of wands you're refusing to give up on something could be regarding a marriage uh, there's some kind of change the ten of coin the death and the four of swords there's a major change what is the Ace of Swords? Well, we've got an Ace of Cups and the Hermit. Ten of Cups. Okay. The Happily Ever After. The Happy Home. What is going on? Well, there's a door to personal healing and happiness. There's a King of Air on the bottom. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Coin. Ace of Cups. Or Eight of Cups. Walking away from feeling stuck. In an unhappy situation. Where there might be lies. <laughs> It showed lies. The Seven of Swords. Where was the seven? The moon. The Seven of Swords and the Four of Swords. Somebody is not wanting to talk about something, but they may have been very defensive about it. All right. Okay, Aries Starseed. Thank you for tuning in and take care.